Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. The Duchess of Sussex will not be accompanying her husband, Prince Harry, to King Charles' coronation next month. She will stay behind at the family home in California with the couple's children, Prince Archie and Lilibet. Archie turns four on May 6th, the same day as the historic event at Westminster Abbey, with the couple's biographer, Ormond Scobie, confirming Archie's birthday. It played a factor in the decision, and he expected it would be a fairly quick trip to the UK for Harry. However, those in the royal circles had speculated whether Meghan may have had corners over being booed where she appeared to in public in the UK. The Duchess was roundly condemned after she appeared in the episode of Netflix series with her husband, Harry. To mock the moment, she was first required to curtsy to the late Queen. Often dividing public opinions since leaving their royal roles, Harry and Meghan have spent two years trashing the royals after leaving their royal roles, while earning millions of pounds in the process. Sources close to the Sussex have said they do not expect Meghan to return in the near future. Meanwhile, other royal sources say Meghan was never likely to come to King Charles' coronation after being put in an impossible position. Sources close to the planning of the coronation have told Harry went through the weeks of dialogue with Buckingham Palace aides after signaling his attention to travel to the UK. The Duke is understood to have voiced concerns over a security situation, a reception for his family where he come to the May 6 event. Insiders suggested the signs were for Meghan to skip the historic ceremony. After she was entirely absent from her husband's book tour and was believed to be upset about the children's exclusion from the coronation process. A royal source has said, The truth of the matter is, the Duchess was never likely to attend the coronation. The mood from California was that she felt increasingly put in an impossible position. There is a fair sense of relief that the situation is resolved, after so much speculation and uncertainty. It is one thing to attend the late Queen's funeral. I respect for Her Majesty. Another thing, too entirely to attend the start of a new reign. Another source said palace staffers were cheered that the circus wasn't coming to town. While another had sympathy for Meghan, saying, She is very much damned if she does, damned if she doesn't. As a mother, she's probably doing the right thing by her young children, which should be applauded. Harry's stay in the UK will be brief, and the Duke will be heading back quickly to California to join celebrations for Archie's birthday. The Duke will only be attending the ceremony and not taking part in coronation festivities during the three-bank holiday weekend. It'll be the first time Harry, 38, will see his family since the late Queen's funeral last September. And the first time he'll come face-to-face -face with his brother and father, Prince William, since savaging them in an explosive memoir, Spare, in January. What do you think about this news? Do you think Meghan's royal fairy tale ends here after the King's coronation? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.